Hey guys, it's Josh, the Not Any Know It All, coming to you today because I, a couple hours ago, kind of heard the news about Dustin Pedroia. Want to jump on here and talk about him for just for a minute. Uh, but before we do, guys, if you take a moment, if you could click like on this video, uh, just the thumbs up. If you could leave a comment on your thoughts about Pedroia, and if you could subscribe to the channel, that really helps out, helps us grow. Last few days, we've actually seen a lot of growth, a lot of videos being watched, and you know, it, it, it's nice. It helps and you know, in a lot of ways, and that's important for more people to see us. So if you guys could do that for me, just hammer the like, leave a comment, subscribe. It makes a big deal. It helps me out a lot. So guys, today, you know, I already did a video this morning. Uh, it came out about my Hall of Fame vote. And then just a little bit ago, I saw the news about Dustin Pedroia, and he had a major setback, is the words they're using, uh, for his injury. Um, looks like his knee once again. And... This is kind of sad for me because I liked watching Pedroia play. Uh, the guy was truly the definition of a grinder. He went out there every day, gave it his all, and, you know, it's sad to see him really derailed because of injuries. And, I mean, he, he had a great career. And I, I'm, I'm saying he had a great career, career because I'm really in the belief that this is the end for Dustin Pedroia, that he'll retire uh, one of the statements I saw is that he's talking with his family about the options that he has. And normally when, when you hear stuff like that, uh, it really means he's considering retirement. And when you have knee injuries as as often as he has the last few years, it, it kind of makes sense. And as much as I would love to see him come back, I think he's done. I think he's going to retire. And, and this is a little disappointing because, you know, a, through a lot of his career, had you asked me if he was on pace to be a Hall of Famer, I would have said absolutely. I mean, this was the guy that um, 2007 won the Rookie of the Year, 2008 won the MVP. He's done four All-Star games, four gold gloves. His batting average career is 299. He has 1,800 hits. So, you know, he's put some pretty good numbers up for a second baseman. And really, you know, if you take out his years that he's been injured, if you were to put full seasons in there, you know, he, you're probably looking at him being at 22, 2300 hits. Uh, but those seasons being injured knocked him down, really hurt his stats, and went from a guy, once again, that I thought was a Hall of Famer uh, with the way he was playing. He had really seven, eight really amazing seasons, but, you know, that's just not going to be enough for him to be a Hall of Fame uh, candidate, in my opinion, he'll probably get a couple votes here and there because um, he did win two World Series. Uh, his career war is 51.1, I think, like that, uh, which is pretty solid. And it's a pretty solid career. But, you know, it's just disappointing to see a guy who really, I think, was on pace to be a Hall of Famer uh, now strongly have to consider retirement. And like I said, I think he's going to retire just because of the circumstances. I don't I don't know him. I don't know his family or his camp or anyone he interacts with. But let's be honest. When a guy gets hurt like this and then has a major setback to an injury, you know, th that spells end of career. It really does most of the time. And, you know, I would have loved to have seen a healthy Pedroia throughout an entire career for 16, 17 seasons. I think he would have you know, pushed for 3,000 hits. Now, he wasn't a big power hitter, so he's, I think he only has a 150 home runs or something like that. It's not a big power hitter, but, you know, he could do everything else. He could hit, he could run, he played defense. You know, the guy was a team leader. Like I said, he won two World Series with the Boston Red Sox, uh, really being a part of that, you know, that resurgence of a team that had really not done anything for, for years. Uh, so it was, you know, it's sad. You know, he, he could have been so much more. Uh, but he, he was great. He was great from the time he played in 07 to uh, when we started seeing the injuries pop up. He was great. He was a great player. So I know I, I wish him the best. I hope that uh, he does recover. But I also understand and know that, you know, these type of injuries, especially knee injuries, man, if, if you can't get that right coming back, it's it's not something that just heals over time. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time and energy uh, not just from the from Dustin, but from his doctors, uh, anyone who's doing rehab with him. It's a lot of stuff. So, uh, wish him the best. I hope he comes back. But I'm saying right now, it's probably probably 95% he retires. And you know what? Maybe he goes into coaching. I could see him being kind of a 
a minor league coach that really helps develop young guys. Uh, I don't know if he's what his skills are when it comes to being a tactical manager and you know for the major leagues, but definitely I think he'd be fun to to see him coaching in the minor leagues. I think he'd be a guy that would really teach players how to how to get after it every day and really do their best. So never know. We'll see. The future, you know, still to be written. So that's what it is. Dustin Pedroia, one of the best, and I think his career is done, and I'm a little sad, you know, especially with, with all the stuff that's going on right now. Seeing him return would have been great. I think it would have been a lot of fun. I uh, love hearing him talk, love hearing him just being around the game. So those are my thoughts. Once again, guys, if you do me a favor, click like or leave a comment on, you know, some of your thoughts on Dustin Pedroia. Do you think he's a Hall of Famer still? Do you think that he fallen short because of the injuries let me know don't forget to subscribe and guys i'm josh the 90 know-it-all and i will talk to you guys later